hello team welcome to our mainframe class so have a good day so i hope all are good so let's start with today's topic so today we are going to cover smp part third video so when i go through the smp videos comments so i saw one or two comments mentioned like they want a next video that's why i'm going to uh, prepare this ppt for you so let's start with today's topic and thank you all for your support if you have any doubt you can mention in the comment box if you want any specific topic you can ping in the comment box so thank you all for your support and valuable time so let's start with today's topic so this is the part third video of smp so all the basic topics like what is ptf uh, what is smp what is the application of smp and uh, there are three types of zone global zone target zone distribution zone all these things are covered in part one and part two video so in this video we are going to cover uh, some new topics like uh, how to customize an element we discussed the user mode sys mode d lib t lib so this is a very important uh, thing and uh, also we we understand like uh, how how we modification uh, control statement apply in the geo system sys mod hierarchy load module creation all these topics uh, we try to cover in this video so let's start with first topic that is customizing an element so if you had a requirement for a product to perform differently from the way it was designed so at that time you might want to customize that element of your system so ibm provides you with the certain modules and uh, that modules allow you to trial ibm code to meet your specific requirements and specific needs so after making the wanted change you add this module to your system by installing the user sys mode so at that time user sys mode is required to install in your system and why because is this is the sys mode can be uh, used to replace or update an element and uh, it is uh, it is to introduced a totally a new user retained element into the system in either case or case of the user sys mode is built by you or either to change by ibm codes or uh, add your own code into the system so it's uh, all depends on you whatever you want so when we talk about the prerequisite of the user sys mode so the prerequisites are to installation of the function sys mode and it's possibly to install all this like uh, ptf a part user sys modes and all so uh, here is the user mod sys mode so in this slide uh, mod 3 is present so this mod 3 has been updated through the installation of a user mod sys mod so let's start with second topic like it's a load module creation so it's a very important concept in the smp load module creation so if we take a general example like there were some bad bricks and you want to put the good bricks into the same place so the same process whatever we need to update that source and reassemble and relink it so same thing will do in the load module creation so let's understand in this example so there are the object module mod 1 was sent uh, sent as a part of the product and uh, other times like you might need to assemble the source code sent to you by the product packager to create a low create the object modules so you can modify the source code and then assemble it to the produce and object module so in this example there are the src mod 2 so src mod 2 is the source code that you assemble to create a object module mod 2 and uh, when assembled you link it link edit object module mod 2 with the object module mod 1 from the load module 
load module that means l mod 1 so in addition to the object module and the source code most product distribute many additional parts such as the macros and uh, there were need some help panel uh, other gos link uh, gos library member so all these modules uh, micros and other type of data and code are uh, basic building blocks of your system so all these building blocks are called we can call this element so smp does not put the element together itself so instead it calls the element appropriate system utilities such as uh, assembler macros uh, sorry assembler linker copy utility uh, and all so this pattern about like how the utility have to call the installed logic and it's kept uh, uniquely in the SMP. So now we understand SysMod hierarchy. So in this example, you can see like there are two service chain. One is the base level function that is say HZY1101, this one. And uh, second one is the dependent level function. J z y 1121 so one is the base level function base function and one for the dependent function so smp kept track of the functions like functional and the service level of each element and uses the sysmod hierarchy to determine such thing as uh, which function and service level of the element should be installed and uh, the correct order for installing update for the element and uh, when uh, processing the apply and accept command in smp use this information to determine the order of changes 